Welcome back to Cityscape. You are watching the Evolution of City series. In the last episode, we covered the fact that cities are hives, living entities that are born, grow, mature, and die. In this episode, we will look at two major players that pushed our evolution forward, scientists and engineers. Let's start with what they do. Scientists are knowledge explorers. They probe the natural world for new information. Their role is to basically add newly verifiable information to the collective knowledge of humans. Scientists also perform another function that is often overlooked. They predict using the knowledge they discover. Scientists create models that allow them to predict what conditions will occur given certain variables. This ability to model and predict allows us to play God in a sense. We are able to counteract the fatalities of nature. Engineers, on the other hand, are people who use the information scientists discover to build tools, machines, and structures. Since the products engineers create are used by people, testing and analyzing is a core component of what they do. Imagine a team of engineers who did not analyze and test the load-bearing capacity of a bridge. Think of the disasters this can lead to. Since engineering errors can cost human life, licenses to practice are usually required with the exception of software engineers, of course, since an application crashing won't kill you. Although, I'm sure some of you may disagree. Now, these two roles, expanding the frontier of knowledge and using information to invent tools, machines, and structures is what allow large populations of humans to safely coexist. In other words, science and engineering are the mother and father of cities. For example, if the plumbing system of New York City were to shut down, Water could not come into homes, and waste could not leave homes. The 9 million New Yorkers living closely together would turn the entire city into a biohazard. Now ask yourself, who is maintaining the water treatment and sewage plant? Scientists and engineers, of course. Cities are still in their infancy. If you look at any major city in the United States, you will see a plethora of problems. Noise pollution, air pollution, traffic congestion, waste, you name it. A city is literally plagued with technical problems, and it needs more innovators to solve them. We don't so much have an employment problem. We lack technical entrepreneurs. New solutions create new jobs, and it's new jobs that grows an economy, not repeat work. As problems are solved, the evolution of cities marches forward, and we all enjoy a higher quality of life. There is a common saying that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. This axiom is not true. Thanks to technical advancement, everyone is now richer. This statement should be rephrased to, the poor get rich, but the rich are getting rich faster. I'd like to end by saying that science or engineering is not something you learn by just going to school. Yeah, sure, school has its place, but these jobs are primarily a way of life, a culture. You have to value rigor, technique, precision, testing, and organization. Embrace these qualities in everything you do, and the rest will take care of itself. See you next time.